Hello everyone, my name is Prodesilaos, also known as Prod. In this video, I will demonstrate the new in-development functionality of the node, which is support for query links. These are links that trigger a search when you interact with them. A search for either file contents or file names, the equivalent of the Unix grep and the Unix find commands. Query links are unlike the direct links that we have always supported. Direct links use the identifier of a file name to establish a unique link between the two. And thus, when you interact with the link, you open, you visit that file. Whereas with the query links, you perform a search and the search results, if there are any matches, are displayed in a separate buffer, which we will see here. What I have now in front of me is the demo denote directory. It has uh, some uh, plain text files, some are TXT, others are org mode. It has a JPG image file and it has a PDF as well, all using the denote file naming scheme. Let me then start by creating a new node. And uh, this is uh, just a demo, whatever. And uh, I am giving it a title and now I am giving it a couple of keywords. And I want to add a query link for, let's say, sudo apt install. So I will do mx denote query and I have here the two commands that allow me to create query links. As I said, there is a contents search, so search inside of the files, and there is a file names search, search the file names themselves. Let's start with the query for contents. So I will do that, and it is now asking me, okay, query for what? And this one can be either a string or a regular expression, Emacs style regular expression. So I will do sudo apt install for now. I want to see all the cases where I have used uh, this in my uh, denote uh, directory, in this uh, directory over here. So it has created a link. Let's just see how this link is formatted. We see that we have the um, denote uh, file type, sorry, denote hyperlink type. For some reason, my mouse is flashing. Yeah, my mouse cursor. Anyway, uh, the, the mouse pointer. So there is the denote hyperlink type followed by a token that qualifies what kind of link this is and then the search terms. So let me now again uh, contract this. We don't need to see it. The point is that this is a regular link. And if I follow this link, if I interact with it, it will produce an xref buffer. xref is the built-in mechanism which is used to perform effectively a grep across the denote directory. And I see over here all the matches in all the files uh, that uh, have the sudo apt install. And in this buffer over here, I can just use n and p to open that file and see exactly what is there. This is standard Emacs functionality. We are not inventing anything here, folks. This is just what Emacs provides out of the box. We just provide the relevant interface via Denote. So let me dismiss this buffer over here and go back to uh, where I was, which is this um, is just a demo. And now uh, let me add a regular direct link, okay? And I will now add a direct link using uh, one of the commands that we have, in this case, the standard denote link command. And let's say I want to link to this uh, PDF that we have over here, and I just link to that. Let's expand the links and see what we have. You will see that the links over here have the denote hyperlink type and then the unique identifier of that file. And I will just uh, hide the links again. If I interact with this link now, what will happen is that Emacs will visit the file. This is the direct link. It won't do any kind of search. This is what we have always supported. 
What we have also always had in our potential, in our infrastructure, is the ability to find what connects to a given file. In other words, backlinks. And let me show you, while being in this PDF, let me show you the backlinking functionality because it's not limited uh, to plain text files. It can be to any kind of uh, file. So what I want to do, up, uh, denote backlinks for some reason, uh, my key binding didn't work. And I see here that it does, if we see it here, it does the same thing that our query link was doing earlier, which is exactly the same infrastructure behind the scenes, where it will go in the denote directory and it will search for the given files identifier and say, okay, which files in the denote directory reference this identifier? And thus it figures out which file links to this file. Okay, and this is how we have the backlinks, how we have had the backlinks functionality since day one. And so what I have been doing, the work I have been doing with the query links is to generalize it to work with any kind of query as I have demonstrated over here. Let me also now do the a, a way of linking to something that has already been written. Let's imagine that um, I am uh, writing about the lyre. This is a musical instrument from ancient Greece. And I have already written the text and now I am selecting the text. So I want to create a link given the selected text over here. So I will do MX and then denote query again and contents link. I want to use the same command I used earlier to create a link for the liar. Okay, so it will perform a search for the liar. Enter. So I do that and now it has created a link to any file whose contents include the query the liar. You will notice before I click on this link, you will notice that the two types of links have slightly different style. One, of course, it depends with the, uh, the theme you are using, but one here is blue. The other one is a dark uh, magenta, maroon, whatever you want to call this. It will depend on the theme and of course you can customize it to your liking using the standard uh, functionality of Emacs to modify faces. But anyway, the point is for us to be able to differentiate the two types of links. So I will follow this link. Same principle, it produces the uh, query links uh, functionality over here, the xref uh, buffer with all the matches in their context. And matches are grouped by file. Let me now do another um, query for um, and now I am uh, pointing to file names only, okay? And what I will do now is denote query and uh, let's do again, this time for file names, not contents, just the names, okay? So denote query, file names link is the name of the command. And it asks me to provide either a string or a regular expression, same idea. So what I will do now is I am interested in any uh, file that mentions Sappho, that's the name of an ancient Greek uh, poetess, followed by any character zero or more times, followed by underscore poetry. So the keyword of a file name called poetry. This is the idea. So this is what I want. All the files that match these search terms. So I do this and let's see what this does. I will interact with the buffer and now it produces a bespoke DRED buffer and shows only the files that match the given query. This is an actual DRED buffer, folks. This is not something more limited in functionality. This is the real thing. You can do all the usual stuff you do in DRED. You can mark the files for deletion. You can mark them and perform uh, changes to them. All the stuff that you can do with DRED, I have done uh, a video where I cover the uh, functionality of DRED. It's a powerful 
a text-based um, file manager inside of Emacs. Really, really good. One of my favorite features. And what we have here is a bespoke buffer that shows us the match over here. Let's dismiss that window. And let's again reveal the links to show how they are uh, formatted like this. By the way, let me just um, wrap the line so that we see also the blue link over here and we can see the difference okay so there is the denote hyperlink type which is always there then we have the token query file names or query contents and then the query terms followed by the description over here this is the uh, sorry uh, this over here is the description part, and this will always be uh, the query text itself, okay? Contrasting that with the uh, denote direct links, which are links to a unique identifier inside of the denote directory. This is the idea. Let me now go and do the same just for uh, demo purposes in a plain text file, of course, Denote can be used in principle with any writable file name. So you may not want to use org or markdown or, or txt. You may want to use something else, in which case you can implement uh, support for that. Uh, and if you have any questions, I am happy to help you with the technicalities. So uh, testing again with uh, plain text. Okay, and uh, let's do um, this. So let's see what happens. And again, I will do a link. Let's do the file names. Let's use the same thing as before. We have that. And also, let's do the contents. And actually, I could do this as well, right? So the contents could also search for a regular expression. By default, Links in plain text are not fontified, they are not styled, but we have the denote uh, fontify links mode in case you want to do that, in which case they are now behaving exactly how they do in org mode. And I will just use the mouse here and let's uh, see here. These are the file uh, names you see over here. And let's see this as well. These are the file uh, contents, okay? And this is the idea, folks. You will notice that it found the last file I created, right? So this means, and the point of these query links, that it will give me always what I have. It will always be up to date. Contrast that. Let's go back to the previous file so that we are, um, sorry, so that we are in the, uh, so this is org. Okay, so that we are in org. Let's not uh, try to complicate things. Contrast this query links functionality with functionality that we have always had about adding links explicitly. So I will do this, denote add links over here. And this is the same as the denote link command, meaning a direct link using the identifier, but this time using a regular expression. And uh, I will do the same uh, thing over here. Uh, let's do sub4 underscore poetry. Let's do this, okay? So it will find all the files that include the given uh, query in the file names and create direct links to them. We see the blue type of link, okay? And I can now hide uh, the, um, the links and we see how it is, okay? This is the idea. But imagine now that I write a new entry. I write uh, something uh, new about uh, sub4. What happened? Sorry. Uh, uh, I will write something new. Uh, sub4 um, was elite. I don't know. An elite uh, poet. Uh, an elite poet. Okay. Something like this. It doesn't really matter. And this is about poetry. Okay, uh, and this is a test. It doesn't really matter what I am writing, okay? If I go back to my previous note, I still have hard-coded the links. It's still a fixed list, right? So this will never be updated to show me thoughts that I have developed in the meantime. It is always a product of its time. Whereas something like this will always show me 
the latest things. It will always show me the most up-to-date uh, work that I have done given those search terms. And thus, we can combine the two, depending on what we are doing, opt for one or the other to uh, empower us to find our work. And this is the point of the note. Let's find stuff via the file name, which is an efficient, low-tech solution to finding stuff because of how the file name is written. Or let's use grep to uh, augment what uh, the note provides with the file names so that we can also search inside of files and thus find again what we are interested in. So this is all for now, folks. Uh, the query links functionality will be available as version 4 of Denote. This is the current development target. As always, the single source of truth, the most up-to-date documentation is in the manual of Denote. Nothing else matters. Everything else will eventually be out of date. So please consult that. Please keep an eye on my website for when I publish Denote version 4. I will release, as always, detailed release notes explaining all the changes and uh, pointing to uh, relevant uh, things of interest. That's all for now, folks. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care and uh, goodbye and good luck if you are going to use Denote for your productivity. Bye-bye.